Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Bump and Fuzzies. Today I'm going to be making some lavender cream, um, the body cream, face cream. And um, this is a fragrance that is one of my larger orders. I'm making a smaller order today, but um, the lavender cream is one of the items that goes extremely fast. Um, I'm gonna be mixing in the shea butter which is uh, African shea butter. Sorry, I got the tape on there, but it's a used, uh, a, one of the used ones. <laughs> I'll also be using cocoa butter, which I actually keep in a box because I buy it in bulk. So um, I buy a lot of it. So it, it comes in a big box. And I'm sorry, I'm not able to pull it out of that box because then I'll wind up losing um my cocoa butter chips and those things don't want to lose not a pinch of it <laughs> um i'll be using nature's garden lavender flowers which i absolutely love and optifin optifin stops any bacterial growth you always want to have these in your creams whether you know especially for all natural because you're using all natural ingredients so Optifin makes sure there is no bacteria and gives it a long life shelf, shelf life as well. <laughs> um, then I do use my Musifying Wax, which gives the skin the shine and also steric acid for the skin. This is made for the skin. This is not steric acid like you're thinking, throw on yourself and burn up. No, this is strictly made for the skin. It is a thickener. And this is what makes my creams nice and thick and fluffy. Um, normally, once the creams are done, I whisk them and um, mix them all together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. And I'm going to show you pieces of me moving um, because it is a process that I do. And um, hopefully you'll enjoy this little segment here of me putting everything together. All right.
Now that everything is in the pot, I go ahead and I melt everything down together. So I'm going to do that now. And once it's melted down, then I add the water to it. I use um, um, sorry about that. I use distilled water, um, and that re works really well with the creams. Make sure everything is all natural and purified. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get it melted. Hi guys. So now while we're waiting for um, the creams to go ahead and melt, as you can see, they're over on the stove and I always melt them on a very low to medium. Um, you never want the oils to like overheat and get really hot. I mean, we're not cooking anything. So we just want to make sure they're warmed up enough to get them nice and melted. So now we're going to go ahead and add the water. And as I said, I do use distilled bottled water. Um, let's see here. And I do weigh my water out because if you don't, if you have too much water, instead of you having nice, fluffy, thick creams, you'll wind up having um, lotion, <laughs> watery lotion. So, um, very careful about making sure the water is measured out. That's very important. All right, so now we're gonna warm up the water because the water has to be hot so it can blend in with the oils without any um, friction. All right, everyone, so as you can see, the oils have melted down and they're nice, they're not over hot just enough to melt everything, the cocoa butter, shea butter, um, emulsifying wax, and the steric acid is all melted down together. I will be adding my Optifin once I add in the water and get everything mixed in. So the Optifin always comes in last, and we're gonna get that added. The water has reached its point of heat. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my mixer here, my stick mixer, and we're going to start to mix everything. And I hope everything, everybody can see everything clearly. Unfortunately, um, the camera's like over my shoulder and I'm needing to make sure I'm right over the pot. So I'm going to mix, go ahead and mix everything in. As you can see, when you first mix in everything, it comes in pretty hot. Um, but it's not too hot. That's just mostly steam rising. And you see how it blended very nicely with the oils. That is what you want. You want it to have a nice transition, blend right in when, after you poured that water. So now I'm going to take my stick blender and do some mixing. So it's going to get a little bit loud. And you don't need to do heavy mixing because the water has pretty much already mixed itself in with the oils. So now we're just kind of letting it cool down some and letting it have that little blend in together. And soon I'm going to add the Optifin here in just a little bit. And I did go ahead and add in my Optifin, getting all this added in. Once I feel that's nice and blended, you see how it nice it has the nice bubbles? After a while, it will begin to cool very quickly. Um, the oils and the water cool pretty fast. And um, all I basically do at this point is go ahead and add the fragrance 
and I like for it to all sit together and blend it in together as well. And this is lavender flowers. I love lavender flowers. It's one of the best sellers that I have. Um, all right, I'm gonna do a little bit more mixing. Smells so good. All right, so now you can see everything has been mixed together. Now all we do is allow it to sit to the side, let it cool. It's nice and blend it together. And once it's done cooling, I'll come back and show you how I use my whisk. It really makes it nice and fluffy like cloud, soft. And I'll be right back. Hi everyone, this is Lisa. I've come back and the cream has now um, solidified pretty much. As you can see it here in the pot, it has a nice gloss to it and the water and the oils have combined. But what I do is I do a little whisk, which actually makes it nice and fluffy. And that's the part that I'm about to show you here now. So let's see if I can make sure you all can see everything properly. Forgot to plug it in. <laughs> all right, so here we go. As you can see, the cream is getting chopped up and it's blending in. The whisk is making it nice and fluffy, um, really nice. It smells so good. And this fragrance was uh, Lavender Flowers. And remember, this is a small batch. This will make about four creams, uh, four of the eight ounce uh, jars that I sell. And I'm pretty sure you all know what they look like. Let me show you an example. These are the eight ounce creams. And this is the size that it goes in. As you can see this one, this one is vanilla butter. And I'll do another video showing how I actually put them in. I do have a machine that I can actually use to put the creams in the jar. Um, but I don't always use it, not for the jars, because I do it pretty quick. Um, and everything is so nice and fluffy. Um, it's very easy to get into the jars, and I like doing it by hand. So. And that's pretty much it. That is all I do with the creams. It is now ready to go. And just to kind of show you all how nice the creams are up close. As you can see how nice that is. Look how creamy that is. Very nice. Nice and thick. Look at that. It's very nice. So this will go into an eight ounce jar and this is lavender flowers. And thank you so much for joining me and watching the video, watching me make some of my body cream face. You can put on your face. I also do unscented. Uh, a lot of people like to use the unscented on their face just in case you don't want to use 
fragrance on your face. Um, but this is all natural cream from Bump and Fuzzies. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like and subscribe.